What's up, Nice Kicks fam? We have a special feature for you today. We're at the Ooh. 106 and Park studio with my man, Bao. How you What's doing? What's up, man? man? How you doing, bro? What's good? What, what oh, you man. got to show them then? All right, so check it. Um, finally, finally, we finally meet up. You know what I mean? So it was only right I brought you to, uh, I like to call this my baby stash. You know what I mean? I know a lot of people, when they watch this, they're gonna be like, that's crazy. He got a nice little baby stash. I wonder what the big stash look like. So, like you said, we right here at 106. I'm about to take you in my dressing room. I'm gonna show y'all some crazy shit. I wanted to um, I wanted to keep this as real as possible. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's my man Quasi right here. It's my stylist. He's still putting shit up. I ain't really want him to like make it too pretty. I'm like, no, don't make it too pretty. Cause you, when you a real kick guru, you can just throw shit all over the place. I'ma just smash on the game real quick. I'm just about to just tear y'all a new man. These right here, these ain't never coming out. So don't even try. These right here are the Nelly Edition. The Honeycomb B. The Honey Nut Cheerio LeBron's right here. That's what you looking at. 250 pair were made. I was lucky enough to get number 79. And these to me are ridiculous. Like, I don't know why LeBron ain't played in these in like a home game. Like, cause the heat got the yellow stripe. I don't know, but these shits right here don't make no sense. It's right here, the Fresh Prince Bel Air uh, six rings. These ain't a classic, but they definitely crazy. If you was a '90s baby, you grew up watching Will Smith for the Fresh Prince, one of the first guys on that on, on TV to really show you what the J game was really like. You know what I'm saying? And the five to me, I always considered was like the Fresh Prince sneaker, cause that was like the, the only sneaker he would wear. And I, and I believe that's why they even dedicated the one of the fives to Will Smith and the Fresh Prince. So it was only right. But for some reason, I, I gravitated towards these more than the fives because I was like, you know, they, they wilder, they purple. And, and it's crazy cause I haven't worn a pair of six rings in a long time. I gotta grab the box if you don't mind. Cause once again, it's about the value of the sneaker. And if you was a real Jordan buyer back in the 90s, you would understand that Jordans was coming in this box right here. These are the real deal. You know what I'm saying? So these black and red joints right here, I call these the flus. The real flus. No suede on it, all leather. Even the buckle is different, the tongue is different. The tongue is, you can see, is way more softer. Way more softer. And you can really tell OGs because they be damn near ready to crack because they really have never been worn before. And they've been sitting fresh since the early 90s. Bro, ain't these your favorites right here? You know what I'm saying? OG style. As you can see why we call these OGs, my shit's damn near about to crack already. You see it say Nike in the back. Y'all probably got the jump man in the back and the inside of the tongue. You see it got the Nike Air in there to make sure they're official. And um, I actually, actually, I ain't gonna lie, I paid for these. I paid a lot of money for these right here, a lot. You got them olive things. I don't eat olives, but I rock olives. You can tell they OGs. You see they about ready to crack on your boy. So this is what I'm about. I'm about the worth. I'm about the money. Like, I'm a real collector. It's shit that I don't even have to really wear, but I buy them because I know the worth of the shoe and I keep it just for shit like this so I can say I got them. These actually are not OGs. Not even gonna lie to y'all. Y'all see I got the, the joint in the back, but they so crispy. You know what I mean, and I and I, I really respect the shoe, and I love this shoe so much. I don't know if I if I'm if I'm gonna wear them. If I do, it'll be on the show. But I can't see myself in the club with these on. Yeah, yeah, Yeezys, right here, man. Official, love these shits. They dope. Throw on some all black. Go in the club, the whole bottom lit up. I like how he made them too. He made them to where you post to wear these. Like just cause it's Kanye, like don't don't make my shit collectors items. Wear my shit, and that's why I love it because they meant to wear, like I like how the, 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 the canvas in the front is like, is meant to wear and they comfortable. For me, it ain't just about Jordans all the time. It's about the era of the shoe. It's about the player and it's about reminiscing when I was a kid and me wishing like, damn, I wish I can get them shoes and I never had a chance. I got my Reebok hat on. AI was one of my favorite players of all time. I got a couple AI kicks I'm gonna show y'all too. Y'all know what these is, them black and gold questions. I love this shoe. It's my favorite obviously shoe of all time. They were so dope when they first came out. I got so many pairs of these questions in every color that we can damn near do a blog just on Iverson questions. That's how many Iverson questions. Look, Swiss came on the show and he saw that I had these on and Swiss didn't have these. And Swiss damn near wanted to call the re -rock, the Reebok representatives like, yo, Bow, I got on these Iversons that I don't have and it's a problem. These is a must have in your sneaker collection. You gotta make sure you have a pair of fours, a pair of threes. If it's not the black ones, then you need the all white and gray ones. And if it's not the all white threes, you need the black threes. <clears throat> but you definitely got to make sure you keep some fours in your sneaker collection. It's a must have. A shoe of mine that's new. And I know I've been killing like the whole new shit, but I ain't even going front right now. 
when I saw this shoe, I said, yo, Jordan is, 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 is genius for making these. And I said, if he made these in high tops, these shits probably would have sold even more. And I'm talking about these low 11s. I know this might be the most simplest shoe I got in my collection right now, but y'all don't understand how serious these shits really are. If he would have made these the high top and put the white jump man right here or the red jump man, oh my God. And the 13s, he's definitely one of my favorites, that bubble eye right there. You know what I'm saying? These unfortunately aren't OGs, but I've had my pair of, uh, a fair, you know, bundle of, these, of this specific shoe and um, I've messed them up every time. So this time I said, I'm not getting the OGs of these. I need the real ones, cause I, I want to wear these. Then you got them raging things. You understand? Then you got them raging things. I, I, done, I done messed these all up. That's cause I liked them a lot though. I did a lot in these kicks. Y'all you remember know, when these first hit the scene, cats went nuts. Some all red fives. I'm not, like I lost my mind. When I, when I first saw this picture, I said, oh my God, he, he's gonna do that. And um, I said, I got to make sure I get a pair of them. Now, if he would have made this tongue with like a patent leather red, oh my God. Oh my God. These are unique. Um, Jordan sent me these right here. I'm sure y'all seen these. I really like these shoes. I, I'm, I'm really excited about shoes that are just like way over the top. I like kicks like that. And these are one of a kind right here. I got a shoe right here that I'm sure a lot of y'all went crazy over. It really don't mean nothing to me, but I'm going to still show y'all because I know a lot of the new Jordan heads, they went crazy over the black grapes. You know what I'm saying? You gotta make sure you have your pair of the black grapes. This is a must have in your Jordan collection. Uh, I would say as far as like the new era of Jordan collection shoes, you definitely wanna make sure you have your black grapes, right? And you wanna make sure you have your white grapes. I got two pair of these and I'm gonna show you the difference. Why? Cause these are the originals. The patent leather 11s right here. They call them the Concords now, you know what I'm saying, boy? You know. Make sure you get yourself a pair of these. Like I said, this is a must-have in your Jordan collection. Also a must-have in your Jordan collection of these. I know you're looking like, well, ain't that the same damn shoe? No, because it got the gold on it, right? Can you say defining moment? Need I say more? Need I do not need to explain. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Definitely uh, a, a, a pair of kicks that you must have in your collection. I remember the Jordan poster with Bugs Bunny and all them on there. Y'all yeah, remember that? Mike in the tank top, black shorts. Yeah. Ones, blue and black. These is always a must have, definitely dope. Love them. Could wear them with just about anything that's all black or blue. I, I think these are genius. Dope between these and the black and red OG ones. I mean, there's, there's <laughs> no comparison. Man, I got them, uh, them Gary Paytons, them gloves. Just in case y'all really want, I told you, man, I'm not playing no games. I'm not playing no games with you all, man. Y'all want to talk kicks, let's talk kicks. By the way, y'all still got to come to the house. And y'all still gotta come to my warehouse in Atlanta where all I have inside my storage room is shoes from my Miami crib. I still have an unpacked from my move to New York when I took over B, uh, when I took over 106. So y'all still gotta come to the A and y'all still gotta come to my condo in New York. This is the shit I just leave here. And this is work. And this is work, but this light work. Never ever paid attention to them when I was a little kid. I thought these was the ugliest things in the world until I understood Gary Payton, I understood the history of the glove and what the glove represented. Oh, we want to keep it Seattle. We can keep it Seattle. If y'all want to keep it Seattle, these some Sean Kemp's. You know what I'm saying? These it right here. You kamikaze. See? <laughs> this what brought hip hop to basketball. You see what I mean? That's why this shoe is so unique. This brought hip hop to basketball. Because I remember that Jada Kiss and AI commercial. The beat was made out of the basketball and the whistle. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even show y'all no phones. I was watching game shit. Game got a lot of phone posits. But I got to say this right now. I don't wear shit that hurt my feet. Yeah, them phones be cool. But them shits also hurt your feet. So that's why you don't see me showing off no phones. What's your thoughts on Game's closet? I know y'all always had a little yeah. bud and rivalry yeah. going on. Nah, Game, no. Like, Game, no. Game has some shit. He has some work. Um, he had a nice phone. Like I say, he had a nice, nice phone posit collection. He ain't really made me flip on his Jordan collection like that. Foams, he got that. You know what I'm saying? Nikes, he got that. Uh, but just straight Jordan game and only what I think of when I think Jays, I think Fat Joe. Joe get work. That Fat Joe get work. That Joe crack tied in with Jumpman. He get work. I ain't even gonna lie. Fat Joe is definitely a Jordan collector. I get that to him myself. Um, but nah, I respect game sneaker closet though. He got work. But I, I really respect his phone posit game. Yeah, y'all gotta come to the A next, man. You know what I'm saying? We gonna round it up in Atlanta.
about to wrap it up, but first, tell me the five shoes you will wear for this week. If you had to choose five shoes, mm -hmm. your last five days on 106. My last five days, I'm gonna have to go with my black and reds right here. These OGs, definitely gotta throw them in the mix. I'm gonna go my retro fours. I'm gonna go my patent leather black and whites. I probably go my black and white 13s. And then to round it off, these. We're gonna make Bart mad with them. Look, he's sweating, like. <laughs> and these, that's it.